win a player game called Talking Books. Uh, it's childishly simple. One team will take turns to read a story as a series of well-known people, each with something unusual in common. It's the job of the opposing team to work out this mystery connection and to help them there will be a clue in the story being read out. Deborah's team, I would like you to read tonight. Would you please take up your positions? OK. <laughs> Your story is a tale of Rapunzel. Off you go. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. <laughs> Her name was Rapunzel. She was imprisoned without trial and without access to affordable health care in a high tower. <laughs> With no door and no stairs by a wicked queen. Yes, she was in what we call the bloody tower. <laughs> Or what my husband calls that bloody tower. <laughs> One day, a prince as handsome as a Democrat <laughs> rode by and heard the tearful princess in the tower singing sadly. Oh, boy, you're looking like you like what you see. Won't you come on over, check upon it? I'm gonna let you work upon it. Tip a pop a trick and stop a chair. Call me tonight. Ooh, you're the sexy boy. <laughs> What a beautiful voice. <laughs> it sets my heart to flutter. <laughs> and brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> Rapunzel. <laughs> Rapunzel. <laughs> Throw down your hair. Here you are, baby boy. Catch. Thanks. <laughs> you probably shouldn't have cut it off first. <laughs> now I can never rescue you. It's enough to make you weep. Well, boo-hoo. Even the wicked queen shed tears. But hers were tears of laughter. <laughs> the end. Oh, very well done indeed. Thank you, Carl.